Well, just, I, I get, but I, then you got to tell, because then you have to set a boundary. And that's what you're not doing, though, right now. You're not saying where the line is. You're just making this general statement. Well, he's telling us there's a line, but, yeah, it's vague where it is. I guess, you know what, Mike, the only thing is you're gonna, we're going to have to figure it out ourselves where it is. Okay, as long as, like I said, I'll just I'll go along with the program. I mean, I, I love it for you. I really do. Let me give you an example. Tonight, when you say uh, the names of the people, if you mispronounce a name and they buzz sure. you. That's not that, a problem. That's not a problem. No. I kind of enjoy that after a while. Okay. No, it's like I'm looking for... I, just, they haven't buzzed me in a while, so I'm, I've, I've been looking at the names before the show Well, they were, re they were really easy names last night, so... Well, I don't know. But the night before, you got, you got well, mad, you know. No, I just, just, so so now, I don't know, like, yeah. if they keep doing I that... I think we should get no. rid of the buzzer. I think we should get rid of any time that we disagree with Mike or any time that, you know, so that Mike's hurt feelings aren't hurt. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, no, well, I, don't, I don't care about the buzzer, you know what I mean? Oh. That's one thing. Now but I, I mean, feel all gross about everything. A buzzer's only a buzzer. I mean, come on, you know? And a caller's only a caller. It's just like, they don't, they're not even real entities. You know? Uh, don't worry about Coco in Alaska. He's got to worry. He's got to worry about himself until he thinks he's doing. <laughs> Coco was very, very <laughs> well versed. I, 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 I want to look at Coco's de daily routine. I'm sure he's a winner. Coco reminds Coco me. Coco is sharp. Coco's sharp. a guy. Coco's guy sits attack. back and just attacks people for no reason. He wasn't attacking. Yeah, he was. I I thought Coco was an amazing caller tonight. Very insightful. Yeah, he's kind of annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I have no opinion on Coco. I mean, but he has opinions on everything, I'm sure. I don't think that. Coco was his real name. I doubt Coco has a lot of friends. Uh, yeah, I bet Coco loves to criticize his friends, too, in their careers. <laughs> I don't know what he that, does. That gets kind of old after a while. Hey, I'm, it's Coco. You want to go to Chili's with me? No, Coco, because you're going to talk to me about what I do all day. No, but I'm, I'm so... <laughs> I just glad I got this out of me. I'm so sorry for holding this. Well, so we're glad, too. I'm not glad. <laughs> I, feel, I feel terrible, Mike. Well, you're kind of like... I feel terrible it's, that you're it's hurt. It's kind of like... Yeah, I don't like that either, but it's kind of like the Miami Dolphins thing now. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you okay. brought that now up. Now there's this big cloud hanging over the studio. No, there's no and, cloud. Ugh. No cloud of mystery. It'll never cloud. go away. No, no. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to... Yeah, exactly. Bring, in, bring investigators in. I'll bring Frosty to Get to the man. bottom of this. Do you get mad when we goof on you when you do the weather? No. I have fun at the weather. Really. You get mad at when we isolate your chins going up and down? No. Well, what are you mad at? Give me an example. Can you just, give me one example you got mad like, at in the last just week? Just like, you know, like, living at home a lot. I hate, I hate being talked about at But house. that's a fact, though, Mike. Oh, I know. Okay. Mike, you're on a radio show. It's a comedy show. We all, we all talk about each other's lives. Okay. Mike, you I know. think you're upset about the caller last night. Calling you out about the And I think maybe did this... The, you didn't give me a hint of this before you found out this was a goof. When you found out the gig was a goof, did you get mad and do this? No. I was like, you know, I thought to myself... At first, I was like... I That's why I wanted to talk to the guy. No, I didn't trust it at first. I'm like, people don't do, you know what I mean? It never happens like that. Right. Mike, you got to turn off your phone. You just got to, you, you don't know how to handle the internet. It's not in your... It's very some difficult. People, I mean, you're addicted uh, hey, to it. Hey, Artie can't handle it. I, he, doesn't, uh, he doesn't listen. He doesn't read any tweets. He doesn't read any emails. I hate it. I mean, he but, hates I, it. But, but I do tweet a lot. Uh, you know, my, my agents tell me to do it, and sometimes I have fun doing it, but if I had, like, uh, $300 million, I wouldn't be tweeting. Because I've, I've been thinking about dismantling Facebook and Twitter and just coming to work every day. Yeah, we got we to break, Mike. Real quick, who's on the show? Here we go. Uh, thank you. Uh, no buzzer here. Tonight, joins in studio, car expert and TV personality from Discovery Channel's Fast and Loud, Richard Rawlings. Okay, go ahead. It's Richard uh, Rawlings. Again. Dropping by in the second hour, comedian and commentator <laughs> from Crowd Gone Wild, the great Michael Costa. And uh, stopping by later... In the third hour, a great friend that I love and, and great comedian, actor and comedian, the great Jim Florentine. Wow, Mike. That was that was wonderful. Yeah. Great, great work. Let down by the big announcement. It was, you thought it was going to be a bigger announcement. Yeah, very anticlimactic. Quit holding the ball. You know, just kind of... Were you an only child? It was kind of just... Blah, you know? <laughs> I didn't really... I didn't really get anything out of it. Do you think Mike maybe actually got a job for, like doing like some PSAs on bullying and he's like See, you know, that's what character. I feel like the PSA is a good thing to say because I feel like I just watched one of those like Discovery Channel specials about how crayons are made you know like I, I learned something but I, I don't really know what it is well I knew this would bother you because this throws your new character into question set heckler it does you know I mean because can set heckler operate there's a fine in line between like bullying and harsh criticism <laughs>
uh, or you know, heckling or heckling. Uh, you or call it heckling. I call it, you know, strident observation. Again, only child. Hold, quit holding the ball. I'm sorry. I'm thinking as I. <laughs> Never gonna make it back to the CFL if you keep holding the ball. I know. I would. How sweet would that be to be in the CFL? <laughs> Be like well, a what would you do, like I, Tiger Cats. If, if there was like a, a team bad enough where they like called me up to play running back, never. Have...